Today we're going to demonstrate how to use the Gilson HM597 Static Segregation Column used to determine the static segregation of self-consolidating concrete. The Static Segregation Column is a variation of the apparatus described in the current ASDM C1610-19. The Static Segregation Column is a two-column apparatus made up of top, middle, and bottom molds with dividing plates between each section. One column is two-tiered and the other column is three-tiered. This innovative design allows a single operator to efficiently perform the test with minimal sample loss. To perform this test method, be sure the HM597 unit is on a flat level surface and away from any vibration. To perform the test, dampen the interior of the three-tiered column. Now remove any standing water that is accumulated in the bottom mold. Obtain a concrete sample in accordance with ASTM C192 and mix until homogeneous. Now, within two minutes and without tamping or vibration, pour the freshly mixed representative sample of self-consolidating concrete into the top mold until it completely fills the three-tiered column. Strike off the top surface with a strike-off bar. Now, allow the sample to stand undisturbed for 15 minutes. Please note that after the sample has been let to stand for 15 minutes, the remaining steps for this test method must be completed within 20 minutes. Now, with a continuous motion, slide the top mold of the three-tiered column until it aligns with the two-tiered column next to it allowing the sample contained in the top mold to transfer to the empty middle mold section. After the sample from the top mold is transferred into the middle mold section, slide the top mold off the apparatus and remove the divider plate. Now, place the newly transferred sample from the middle mold into a separate receptacle for further testing. Next, in a continuous motion, slide the middle mold to align to the column next to it, allowing the sample contained in the middle mold to transfer to the empty bottom mold section. After the sample from the middle mold has transferred into the bottom mold column section, slide the middle mold off the apparatus and remove the divider plate. Now place the sample remaining in the bottom mold from the three-tiered column into a separate receptacle for further testing. Be sure the steps just completed are within the required 20 minutes. Properly discard the remaining sample not collected for further testing. Now you can continue with ASDM C1610-19 test specifications. Separately wash the samples collected over a number 4 sieve. Wash until only the coarse aggregate remains. Place the wash aggregate in a separate clean receptacle. Dry both aggregate samples separately to a surface dry condition by rolling aggregate samples in an absorbent cloth. Determine the mass of both dry coarse aggregate samples separately to the nearest 50 grams. And finally, calculate the static segregation of the concrete and report to the nearest 0.1%. For any questions about the Gilson HM597 static segregation column or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.